What's up, what's up, everybody? This is Afro Joe Taylor T. A. is again. Well, I found out by uh, you know you seen the last video about Eric Garner getting killed by a police officer by being put in the choco. Well, I found out that the coroner for the state or for the city actually ruled it as a homicide. Now, I'm against police brutality like like everybody else like the next guy <laughs> but I knew one day that this was kind of catch up to a police officer no matter what to, to kill a man that is innocent for breaking up a fight they thought he was selling cigarettes but to put a man in a chokehold and it was caught on film Notice this man had health problem with asthma, being away. He might have had a heart problem or something like that. But everybody found out that he had asthma and he was obese. And he's got several kids and he's got a grandchild now. Like I said, the coroner ruled it as a homicide, as a murder. Now, the law clearly states, goes for every state, that the chokehold is... Uh, is a illegal move for police officer. If a police officer used the chokehold on a suspect, it's a liable lawsuit, or they can kill him where the family can sue. Now, if the coroner is ruining it as ruining it out as a, if it's ruining it as a murder, that means the cop, the officer, and the police, the other police that was helping this officer seduced this man will be arrested the cop will be arrested for killing this man and the other cops that was helping him will be accessories to killing this man well you can say oh, how, how are you going to be accessory well accessory is this they, some people would be like what's a fucking accessory they say well like jury no no that, not that kind of accessory but it's like this if you're riding in a car with your friend if you're driving down the down the road with your friend. And your friend is in the passenger and you're driving. And your friend has a shitload of drugs on him. And the cop pulls you over, searches you and your friend, and finds out your friend had drugs on him. Then you will be charged with accessory to sell or accessory to carry. See? That's what that means in this situation. If it has to do with a cop the law is that's what that accessory means but <clears throat> and I said when I found out they they the corner ruled it ruled it as an, uh, a homicide the first thing I thought was it's like finally a police officer is gonna get arrested for murder I said if you look up on YouTube police brutality you see countless videos of police officers beating up people with the billy clubs mason somebody in the face and it's really catching up and I knew this day was going to come no matter what because every day you see police brutality videos or see police brutality in the streets and I, and I looked at it it's like it's, it's kind of weird to see it now because you want that you want it to come true so badly about uh, officer of the law getting arrested for murdering or hurting or whatever you want to see that officer go to prison and we're going to see that the officer will be arrested for murder for manslaughter for killing this man in the city of New York City and I know some of y'all are going to be like oh that's wrong no 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 there's even vi let me tell you this I've seen videos where white folks are getting beat up by police black folks every minority if you don't believe me look up the videos of police brutality and you will see countless videos of, of a police officer kill, uh, not killing but hurting a civilian I've seen a, a police officer that was a marine beat up a soldier that just came home from Iraq now that soldier just sued the city for getting dealt with by a police officer 
and that's how it is. I tell you this: the city I live in, the city I live in, the same city as Toyo Brown, but not where well, not the city I live in, but the city I'm from. It's the same as Toyo Brown. If you look at the Toyo Brown video, then you know what the city I'm from. But uh, there was a cop, a black cop. He was in uniform. He was in his police car, his cruiser, as they call it. He was driving down the street, driving down the neighborhood. A 12-year-old little girl was playing in the street. A black 12-year-old little girl was playing in the street. The police officer had a bottle of tequila in his cruiser. That cop hit that little girl and killed her. This is a black cop getting off scot-free for killing the black child. Now that that ain't right to see a black cop kill a black child and he's and he quit the job and he, he yeah he quit the job and they let him go they let him walk the street to kill again it's the same if a white cop killed a white person they will walk the street I seen a white cop beat down a white deaf man it was a white cop beating down a deaf white man and I thought to myself wow that is something else doesn't it doesn't matter what color the cop is, they're going to do police brutality on people. And I thought, I was amazed. I was like, glory days. Finally, a cop fucks up bad enough that they're going to charge him with murder. Maybe that will send messages to every person behind the badge. Police, state trooper, uh, FBI agent, whoever that wears a badge that this is no joke once you put that badge on you are not above the law you're not the law you there to force them well to force the law and protect and serve I've seen a video where a cop went up on a law student because the law student had the license to carry a gun and he had his gun on him the cop like he was gonna arrest the guy but that law student that law student got him. He, he, the, the law student told it like it is. The cop couldn't do nothing because he was embarrassed because he just got schooled by a law student. Now, like I said, to me it's glory days to see a cop go to jail. You probably said that. How can you be so harsh to see a cop go to jail? Well, when you do wrong, you get done wrong. When you see a cop kill an innocent person because if the innocent person doesn't have a weapon, it's not a threat, then you see, like white life, it's actually where people don't know this. A cop cannot put their hands on you. You got to agree to it. It's like, you kind of got like the vampire rules, like vampire can't enter your house and I say, you're welcome to come in. It's kind of like that. It's like, I may I search your property. If you say no, they cannot search your property unless they have a warrant. If they have a warrant to search your car, they can search it. If they have a warrant to search your body, they can search it. But if they ask you, hey, can I search your person? You can say no. It's against the law for you to search my person unless of suspicion. And if you pull me over for something, if you pull me over, and that's how it is. There, you see videos about that where po uh, where people have cams out and they're schooling these people police officers telling them no you may not search me no you may not search my property no you may not touch me no you may not restrain me and they're really schooling these people and it works pick up a damn to me pick up a law book pick up a law book you know what a law book well a law book is is where it's a book for law school students for people who wants to be attorneys and lawyers you pick it up, you read it, you see where what a cop can and cannot do. Cops cannot search you without your permission. A cop cannot search your car without your permission. A cop cannot put you in restraints without your permission, unless if you have a weapon. But they cannot take your weapon unless they ask, or unless if you give them permission to, to look at your gun. If they pull you over, they can pull you over, but they can't arrest you without a perfect without a purpose if you ask them what am I being arrested for and they don't tell you they say well we're just going to arrest you then they broken the law because they can't arrest you if they don't give you a reason why they arrest you you better have that camera handy if you got a cell phone 
with the camera on it, whip that bad boy out, turn that camera on, and start recording them police officers. There's several, I've seen there's several police officers that's trying to do away with the camera. Do away, do away with the camera. They don't want to be recorded. Now, if they do away with the camera, that means you got to do away with the camera in your car and the police cruiser and camera that they wear now on their uniform. Do away with it. Make it even for the playing field. So, which means if a cop arrests you and there's no camera in sight, not in the cruiser, not on the police un policeman's uniform, then they, then what they write down the statement is a lie because they're going to look at it as a lie because there is no evidence to back up. You can write a note on a piece of paper, but it's still not the truth. Anybody can write a, something on a piece of paper and say it's the truth, but it's not. But, like, back to the story. Like I said before, when I find out that they looked at this, they looked at the corner, looked at this as a homicide, oh my God, man, it was, it was magic. I felt, and what I mean, what I meant to, what I mean to say is when I felt glad and that was like magic, it's not about him killing the person, because I feel bad for the person that died. I was glad and it felt like magic because an officer of the law is getting arrested for killing a person. They fucked up. It's about what they did. It's about them getting getting put on the other side of the law. It being looked at on the other side of the law as they looked at us as the looked at us as the other on the other side. It's like looking it's like going to the hotel and you're walking up to a counter and you see the person working behind the counter. Now it's the other way around with the person behind the counter is the customer and you are the person working behind the counter. It's like that. And I look at it it's like finally a person behind the badge is getting arrested for murder. I said that's the best thing you can hear and see in your day is to see an officer going down for murder. Hallelujah. Especially since he did well to me. I didn't look at it. To me, the whole race thing. The people are looking at it as the whole race thing. It's like if you look at YouTube, you see countless videos of police brutality where they hurt every every minority, not just blacks. But mainly, there's more black videos than other minorities. But I looked at it. I was so upset. I was like, this is some stuff. This is something else to see. This is history that that the world today is being looked at so different about how a policeman killed somebody and gets away and, and he thought he was gonna get away oh he killed he thought he was gonna get away with it you can't get away with that you cannot get away And you can't sit there and think, oh, you kill somebody, you can get away with it because you wear a badge. No, it doesn't work that way. You can't cover your tracks on this one. And to me, oh man, to me it's like it's. I wish not to not to drag this group of people in the mud. I'm not. I'm not bad mathing them. But oh my God, just to see anonymous, just to see them really like really do some dirt like they did for a man of time. And I would have been like. Oh my God! I look at it, uh, like ever since the like if if the anonymous the anonymous would have did that, he put some more evidence on this and made them look even worse. Man, I would have been more happy. But I can't do that. I have no connection to the people. But plus, man, I I'm not trying to drag these people through the mud and make them look bad. But it would have been glory days, even more glory days to see that. To me. Anonymous is like the police for the internet. That's how I see it. And that's how, that's how I see Anonymous. Anonymous is like the police for the internet. It's up they're good people. They're good guys. They just catch a bad rap. Anonymous is just good people. But but like I said before, man, it's about how one officer breaks the law by killing somebody and then trying to think he can get away with it because he wears a badge. It doesn't matter if you're male, female, black, white, Puerto Rican. That wears the badge, you can still break the law and be arrested for it. But to see that as the cop is going to get arrested for killing somebody, I think it's something else. It's like I want to see this cop go to jail. I want to see these inmates really rip into this guy for killing somebody and thinking he can hide behind the badge. That's the one I want to see. But I won't. Be
be able to see that, but I know the man might get life in prison. If he gets life in prison, oh my God, celebrate everybody, celebrate. A policeman's going to jail for murder. Celebration right there, man. I'm for real, man. We need to celebrate around the world. A policeman's going to jail for murder. Hallelujah. It'd be more funny if it was a cop raping little kids. They're in, they put in jail. Oh my God, hallelujah. A cop goes to jail from a child molestation. Praise the Lord. Because cause you might say, oh my God, you sound crazy. No, it's just when you see police do so much wrong by harassing people that walks the streets and police brutality, and you hear this, cops going to jail for murder. You think, oh my God, praise the Lord, let's do a little jig or something. Party like a rock star. Because you're finally seeing police going to prison for fucking up. It's like glory days right there. It's like looking at the innocent child. It's like it's like you know everybody has it, for the people that has brothers and sister, brothers and sisters. They know like okay they got a younger sister, younger brother, or they got a sibling that never does no wrong when the parents are around. But once the parents not around, they act up. Then finally the parent catches that innocent child fucking up, and you think in glory days. That's how I feel. Cops think they're so innocent because nobody's looking, but when people turn around and catch them messing up, oh my God, they know they're in trouble. Glory days. Hallelujah. Pass the ammunition. Let's get her done, son. <clears throat> and that can happen to one police officer. That can happen to many around this country where if a cop, for, to me, I'm waiting for a law to be passed off. Any video shown of police brutality, that cop gets arrested and put in prison for police brutality. Not five, not ten years, not eleven. Give that fucker thirty-five to sixty years, man, not be good to go, man. Because that cop did as much as damage as the person they beat on. They got the nice sticks, they got the pepper spray, they got the taser, they got the gun. They got four weapons right there on them. If one person can walk around with one weapon, but a police officer can walk around with four weapons, hey, come on now. Who's the criminal? The person with one weapon or the cop that's with four? Come on. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this situation. Do you think the cop should go to prison for murdering this man? Or do you think the cop should die? Do you think the cop should be released? What is your what is your take on it? Write in the comment section. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Jr. Two, Silo Jr. Three. Tell me what you think. Follow me on Tumblr and man, show your love. I'm back and but tell like a T I. I'm Afro Joe. Tell like a T I is. Show your love. Peace, love, peace, love, and Afro grief.